sunny window. Um, I wanted to show you today um, how you fill a pen that has a cartridge in it. And this is um, a pen that I use a lot for drawing. And I also, so I wanted to show you how to use a cartridge for these pens in case you didn't know, you might already know this, but in case you don't. But I also want to talk about um, inks for drawing and why I'm making the decisions I'm making here. Because some of us use fountain pens for drawing and it's it's great, it's wonderful. Um, let me find some paper. I'm just gonna use, let's see here. Um, I'm just gonna use this Midori notebook. Um, Midori paper is lovely for fountain pens. Um, it's not what I necessarily use for drawing, but it'll be good just to show you the colors. So this pen is a Lamy Safari. They are a very, very affordable fountain pen. You can get them for under $30. They come in many, many colors. I've had mine for probably five or six years now. Um, this is an extra fine nib, so you can see that on here, extra fine. So Lamy pens are... I mean, they're just performers. They perform really well. I've never had any issues with this pen. Um, they come, they actually come with a cartridge. And so I actually, I do have some Lamy cartridges. They come like this, but the pen also just comes with one. It does not come with a converter. The converter is something you buy separately. But it comes with um, Lamy cartridges and they are proprietary which means that they only work with Lamy pens and you have to use Lamy cartridges with Lamy pens, okay? And that's fine, They can't, Lamy has some beautiful inks. In fact, one of my very favorite inks ever, ever, ever for anything is the Lamy Agate, okay? It's, it's a beautiful gray brown. It's the Lamy Agate. So it's not that they don't have beautiful inks, but sometimes you want something different, especially for drawing because for drawing, sometimes we want an ink that isn't so water soluble, okay? So if you, and, and Lamy does not make that, all right? So if you are someone who wants an ink for drawing, you're gonna have to get a cartridge, uh, I'm sorry, a converter cartridge, and this is a converter, okay? This is proprietary, again, it's made by Lamy. Um, it is, I wanna say like f between five and seven dollars, depending on where you purchase it. So it's not a huge investment. Um, and it works just like the cartridge. You basically just slip it in, push it, and it's done, okay? So when I first got one a long, long time ago, and I'd never used this before, I ended up putting my cartridge into the ink and filling it that way. And that really isn't the best way to do it. The best way to do it is to just go ahead and snap it into your, your pen and just use it like you would a piston filler or something. So I'm just going to screw it up, right? And then I'm going to put it into the ink. I'm going to push it down, okay, into the ink. This is how I do it. And there's a million ways, I'm sure. All the way down. And then I'm going to very slowly use the, this to, to pull up, and the ink is going to suction into the converter. Okay? All right. Um, it's pretty simple. So now, before we do that, I want to talk about these inks. So the ink that I have been using forever in my Lamy Safari is this. It's Diatramentus Document Ink in Brown. I like it because um, it works really well for fountain pens. A lot of waterproof inks are terrible for fountain pens. I have never had any trouble with this. I do use it often though. So if it's something where you put ink in and you let it sit for a month or two without using it, you may have an issue, but then you can just clean the pen. It's not going to damage your pen, okay? I like this ink because once it dries on the paper, and, and if you're using it as a sketching ink, it is fairly water resistant. So I can use watercolor with it and get very little bleed of the ink. My lines stay clear, right? That's why I like this ink for drawing. Is it the most glamorous, beautiful ink? Not really, it's pretty It's pretty average, it's brown, okay? So my very favorite ink for, for, I just, this is my favorite ink, it's called Verdigris, and it's made by Jay Urban. 
and it's this beautiful sort of green gray. It's it's like a silvery green gray. It's not um, obtrusive. It's it's actually really wonderful for drawing. However, it is water soluble. So as soon as you start to put watercolor or water onto it, it's going to dissolve, and you're, you're going to lose your lines. So it's not good for sketching when you're going to use watercolor. All right. So I started doing some investigating, and Diatrementis actually makes. Um, actually makes an ink called Document Green Gray, and I, I'm going to show you that. I also got a sample of um, Document Fog Grain and Fog Gray. I got these both from Goulet Pens. For a couple bucks, you can get a sample of the ink, all right? I've already actually used this quite a bit, so I, I really like it. I am going to buy a bottle of it, but I just wanted to show you how the samples come. Um, it's a great way to try it, so you don't, because a bottle of ink can be, you know, anywhere from ten dollars to thirty dollars you know and if you don't end up liking it it's a waste of money and I've done that before and I don't want to do that again so it's great to sample many many fountain pen retailers sell samples of ink and I like Goulet they're really affordable they give you a decent amount to try and they have they have so many to choose from at the same time I also purchased this I got this one from Van Ness pens their samples are a little bit more ink but they, they cost a lot more too but um, this is the Diamine Earl Grey, and my friend Agnes told me about this ink, and I, I wanted to try it. It is water soluble, okay? But what she said is that she loves the ink for sketching. So I'm gonna take a Q-tip and just put a little bit on the paper here. It is, um, it's a gray, I love gray ink, okay? It's a, it's sort of a greenish gray. It's it's not as green as these other ones, as you'll see, but it's lovely. And then if you added a little bit of water to it, oh, you know what? I thought I had my water brush. I do not, I'll be right back. Okay, so if you add a little bit of water to it, um, she says it just turns into these delicious colors that you still get a little bit of the line, but then you get some peaches and greens and it's just really pretty and she's right it is really pretty so again it's not completely waterproof obviously but she says you do get a little bit of line that remains and you get these gorgeous washes that mix with your watercolor and do fun things so for journaling and sketching and things like that it's a lot of fun so so i'm trying to decide what i want to put in my mommy and i think I think I might try the Earl Grey for a while and just see how it goes. So that's what we're going to use today to fill the pen. But I wanted to show you these other two because I know me and I really do like a water a waterproof line. Um, this is Verdigris. This is Verdigris by J.R. Ben. It's my very favorite ink. I use it for writing all the time. It's really, really beautiful. Um, but again, this is a totally... Um, water soluble ink it will just disappear okay it does cool things it makes you know if you want your line to disappear that's fine but sometimes i really like that strong line i also love the j or bed ink as a, as a left-handed person because it dries really quickly on the paper that i use and I, I don't smudge it it's just really pretty okay so now let me show you these this is the one the the document green gray okay now, they're not going to be exactly like the J or Ben, right? But it is that lovely kind of green gray that I just adore. It's sort of like the color of succulents. And when you write with it, so let me just grab, um, a nib. So if I get some on a nib and just write with it, it's not enough. Depending on the size of your nib, I'm going to put the lid back on. Depending on the size of your nib, so if you're using an extra fine, it's going to be lighter. If you're, this is more like a bold nib, it's darker. But as you write finer with it, It's 
just not working very well for me. I did. I don't have enough to fully dip the nib, and so it's not gonna. But you can kind of see as it gets as the line gets finer, it gets lighter. Okay, so it's gonna be more like a really soft, um, a soft green gray. It's very pretty. I really really like it. I've tested it. Um, in a couple pens now, and I do like it very much, and I am going to buy a full bottle. So for me, it's not exactly like this, right? But it's as close as I can find in like a waterproof ink in a color that I really enjoy. And I think, I think it'd be a lot of fun to sketch with. So I am going to order a bottle to use with my with my Lamy pen. All right, and then I got the Document Fog Gray, um, just to see the difference. And for me. It's a little too blue. It's pretty. It's really pretty, but it's it's to me it's blue, right? It's not gray. And so it's just not what I want. It's a beautiful ink, and if you like to draw with blue, it'd be fabulous. But for me, it's just not what I was looking for. But I definitely am going to buy a bottle of this for my next fill. So I just wanted to show you how that is. That's super cool. And I just want to try it because she says it's really magnificent. All right, so let me put this aside and we're gonna fill our pen. So this is the Earl Grey. I've got a tissue just in case I make a mess here. All right, um, this is the Earl Grey. Let me just lift this up a little bit. Okay, you're gonna get all sorts of sunspots here because my desk is in a sunny window and I just like doing this on my desk. All right, so I'm gonna put, it's all the way up, all right? I'm gonna put the nib all the way into the ink. You can wipe it off later, all right? Or, or even rinse it off, but I'm putting it all the way in. I'm screwing it down, okay? So I'm pushing the air out of the converter. Do it slowly so you don't create bubbles in your ink. And then it will resist. It's gonna to come to a point where it resists then I very slowly pull it back up. It, the, the nib is entirely Im immersed into the ink. And I pull it all the way up. Um, I'm not actually gonna pull it all the way up. I'm gonna pull it halfway up, but if it was an ink that I knew I liked, I would pull, pull it all the way up. So my pen is, is like half filled right now, okay? So I'm gonna put that down, close this. And then I'm just going to wipe off my pen and I'll go rinse it off in a minute. Okay, so I can put it back together. I prefer Lamy's when they're posted. I like the little bit of extra weight at the back. Okay, so let's just see. Let's just see how this looks as a writing ink to begin with. Lamis are really great about starting up right away. So you can see this is a really fine line. It's a very fine writer in the extra fine nib. I also have a Lamy, let me just show you. This is Lamy Safari in a medium nib. Um, and I have not used it in a while, so it might take a minute. There we go. It'll take a second to flow. But you can see the difference, right? It's much thicker, much juicier. Great for inks that have shading and when, when you really want that part of the ink to shine. But for sketching, for me, it's just too thick. So let's just, um, even if I just drew a simple leaf, I mean, very simple, right? And um, just put some simple hatching in there just to see what happens if I put water on it. It is a really pretty gray, by the way. It's very nice. So let's see what happens to our line. So up here, it should be dry. Um, again, the MD paper, yeah, see, to me, that's just disappearing. 
it's just dissolving. And that's okay. I mean, I can, I can use it for a while and see what I think, but when you dissolve the ink, it's supposed to, to mix with the watercolor and do kind of fun things. But for me, I like the line to stay, you guys. I just do. It's not, yeah, not my thing. Oh, oh well. Well, I'll try it. You know, I'll just use it for a week or so and sketch with it a little bit and see what happens. But it is really pretty even just to write with. It's a nice soft gray. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's drying somewhat quickly. Yeah, by the time I'm done writing a page, it would be fine. I would just have to wait a couple of seconds and, and it would be done. But right away, I mean, if you look at things that are super juicy, like, you know, that ink dries pretty quickly in comparison. That's the Pilot Iroshizuku. And even though this is extra fine, if I just give it a minute, that's pretty good, right? Not bad. So it just, um, it just isn't going to hold that line. And that's okay. That's really okay. It's just what you like. It's what you prefer. Um, I prefer a pen. I, I prefer a, a line to hold when I'm sketching. I want my ink to hold if I, if I use watercolor with it. So that's it. I just wanted to show you that. Super easy to use a, a converter, right? Super, super easy. Great pen, great affordable pen to use for sketching and everyday writing. Super comfortable in the hand. This is the, it's called the Demonstrator um, model, which is just clear, everything's clear, but it comes in all sorts of really fun colors, like blue. I mean, just tons and tons of colors. It does have a little ink window on it, all right, this one doesn't need it, obviously, because you can see through the whole pen. Um, but you can hold this up to the light, and you can see how much ink and what color ink you have. So yeah, that's the Lamy Safari. And my favorite drawing ink, Diatramentis Document Ink. Um, in I, I didn't show you the brown. I should. Sorry about that. It is a warm brown. It's like... It's like a chestnutty brown. So it's not really a sepia. I don't know if they have a sepia, to be honest with you. I'm not really sure. Um, but you can see that when you put water over it, once it's dry, it's dry. It's going to stay there for you. So pretty great. Um, while it's still wet, of course, you can blend it. All right, I hope this was helpful or interesting. Um, if you have any things that you would like to me to talk about as far as fountain pens go and left-handedness or even just fountain pens and, and ink in general, let me know in the comments. Um, I, I've been using them for a long time. I've got a lot of experience and um, yeah. And I've got some really cool new stuff to show you uh, over the next few weeks. All right, thanks so much everybody. Take care.